Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how we laid our first course of block for our garage. So the first thing that we did is we set up our batter boards and we got everything all square. If you have issues with that, we have a video on how to set that up. But we basically just got our batter board set up and we hit this with our rotary laser to make sure that all of our batter boards were exactly the same on all four corners. That way when we run our string line, everything is going to be perfectly flat. Um, so what we did is we just started right here on our corner block. We got the face and this long side matched up into this uh, corner and then we just started laying block. And we'll show you guys how we're laying it um, and with our mortar down on the pad itself um, here in a little bit. But this is how we have it set up. This is what we're following. We are leaving just maybe a sixteenth of an inch away from our line. Just a little bit of a gap. That way it's actually not touching and messing with the line a little bit. So we are standing it off just a hair. Um, that way there's no contact with this string at all. But we are level with the string all the way through. You got to make sure that your string is super tight as well um, because you don't want any sag in there or else your brick in the middle of your line is going to sag down just a little bit. So make sure those lines are really tight. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and show you guys how we're actually laying the block. All right, so before we actually start laying our block, we have down, uh, we marked some chalk lines every four feet. Every three block is four feet. So this just helps us keep our uh, joints exactly where they need to be. It's really crucial for your first layer because that kind of just sets everything up for everything after that. So we have those marked every four feet. Um, so if we're a little bit past a uh, mark, a chalk mark, we know we need to shorten up the next three blocks um, and kind of shrink those joints down a little bit to get back to exactly where we need to be. Um, if it's a little bit on uh, this uh, closer side to it, we know we're a little short on it and we just need to expand the next three a little bit to get back where we need to be. So that kind of keeps you in place. Um, when you get to that mark, they're usually not that far off and it's just minor adjustments to the next set of blocks that you need to do. So that's a really quick, um, helpful tip for you guys, um, especially if you're like me, this is the first time I'm doing this. So that really helped us out and getting those joints exactly where they needed to be. And it just helps you guide along. So what we'll do now is we'll start laying down our mud and show you guys how we're putting down the mud um, on our slab to lay our block. All right guys, so what we're going to do is right here we have it marked um, where the outside edges of our block is. What we're gonna do right now is lay down a mortar joint for the block to sit on. Okay, so now that we have the mortar bed down, it's kind of lumpy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our trowel and kind of level that out. That's going to give it a nice even bed for the block to sit on um, and just making pushing it down all that much more easy. We're also going to butter this end. We'll just lift this block. We're going to ease it down onto the mortar joint or the mortar bed. And then just let the weight of the block just set, just like that. Put our level on there. Okay, so this side is high and this corner is high. So we're going to start tapping here up on our corner. Okay, so we're level from front to back like this. This side's a little high, so we'll tap in the middle. All right, so now, right now, we are perfectly even over the whole block. However, we're still a little high here. So we're gonna start tapping down evenly across the entire block. Okay, there we go, we're perfectly level. 
Our string line is about a sixteenth of an inch off of our block and it's perfectly level with the top of our block. So this one's set, so we'll just keep moving on. What we do with the extras, um, I just take it, scrape it up from the side, and then just continuing moving it on, scraping up the sides. Right like that. And then we'll just move on to the very next block. So over here we have the opposite end of our door. So this is um, not our quite our rough opening because we're going to have a trimmer that comes down here. Um, but this will be the opening for a man door. So right between here is our door opening. We have a little wall right here to here. Um, and then we have our garage door opening over here. So what we're going to do is we have a short block that we're gonna put in here, but we're gonna do this one first. Um, that way we're not trying um, to push this one on and get the correct um, uh, distance with this one. We have a line right here marked on to our pavement. So we're going to do this one first, get this one set, and then we will work for the middle one um, because then we can see easily how much gap we need and how much to put and butter on to the ends. So right here is our line that you can see. So we put stuff right there on the edge but just make it so that we can still see that line. It'll push out a little bit, um, but that's okay. So we will take our block. We have the side that we cut, and then we have our flush side out here. Just take this. Put our level on here. So this side is high and this side is high. So this side's high and this side's high. So our first tap will be right here. That brought that down. A little more on this side. And that brings it right in the plum. Now, since we're plum, a little more over here. Now that we're plumb, we probably need to come down maybe an eighth of an inch overall. So we'll tap in the middle, other side, back, front, check again. Looks good. All right, so we're going down even. Check again. And we're still looking really good. All right, I'm really happy with that. We're perfectly level here with the string. Uh, we're nice and square. Um, right here is our line, so that still really looks really good. Just cut that off of there so you guys can see that. That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Um, that'll look uh, really good once we get her cleaned up. So the next thing we'll do is we'll make, lay this middle block. So we buttered this side of the block that's already laying down. We'll get this side right here. Okay, and then we'll just kind of judge in here, make it so that it's even on each side. All 
All right, guys, that wraps up this video. We have our first course down. Our first course was bond beam block. Um, so if you guys wanna see how we lay rebar and stuff in our bond, be our bond beams and breaking our tabs out and stuff, stay tuned to the next video because that's what we're gonna get into next. Um, so we have our man, our man door, our garage door all set up here. We'll take a little shot around so you guys can see everything. Um, but that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.